Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The independent inquiry into child sexual abuse has heard that prosecutors misled the media about the existence of an investigation into allegations against the late politician Cyril Smith. The public hearings examining historic allegations of abuse in a children's home and residential school in Rochdale have obtained new evidence from the security service MI5. Our home affairs correspondent Tom Simons reports. In the 1960s, they called him Mr. Rochdale. He became mayor of the town for Labour, but defected to the Liberals. Do you want a man to represent you, or do you want a party robot? In the 60s, it was never revealed that he'd been accused of sexually abusing deprived boys. Now, this public inquiry intends, finally, to get to the bottom of it. The decision to embark upon this investigation was in part in response to the public concern that some politicians, including Cyril Smith, were involved in child sexual abuse and able to abuse with impunity because they were protected by the establishment. It's claimed Cyril Smith abused boys at a hostel, Cambridge House, which closed in the mid-60s. It's now a private home. When police began an investigation in 1970, Smith asked for a meeting a transcript records a police officer saying, You want to see what we know. And Smith started laughing at that. Well, yes, fishing. I think that's fair comment. Fishing because Cyril Smith was hoping to move from local politics to national. He told the police, In three weeks' time, I've got to give a decision, one way or another, whether I'm going to fight the next parliamentary election as a Liberal in Rochdale. And if I'm going to be charged, I'm not going to accept. Guilty or not guilty, it would be unfair to the party. He wasn't charged, but years later, the press got wind, started asking questions. The inquiries obtained these documents held by the security service MI5, which record that the director of public prosecutions press representative had untruthfully told Bartlett, a journalist, that they had no record of this case. Smith was re-elected in greater numbers than before, and far from diminishing him, the allegations appear to have had absolutely no effect whatsoever. Also under investigation, the rife sexual abuse linked to this residential school, Knoll View, where Smith was a governor. At one point, a sex offender roamed its corridors at night. But as with Cyril Smith, the central allegation is of a cover-up. This inquiry is attempting to learn the lessons of the past so that children can be better protected in future. Tom Simons, BBC News, at the Independent Inquiry into Child Sexual Abuse. Anyway, so, right, uh, Cyril Smith. Sir Cyril is the first person to be investigated by the inquiry into child sexual abuse, historical child sexual abuse. Yeah, ab absolutely, and it's pretty, uh, pretty damning, this, because in, in 1978... Uh, uh, oh, you're starting with that uh, now. You're not starting with Mrs Thatcher I'm time. coming to your oh, sixth I see. paragraph. He's realised that I was right. Don't be silly. 19, Started on Mrs Thatcher first time. The, the director of public prosecutions is, is, uh, is accused of misleading people on evidence that he was Which is pedophile. disgraceful. And then in 1988... Which is what he started with the last The inquiry time. also heard that the then Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, was told about the claims against Smith before awarding him a knighthood in 1988. That is a mistake by Thatcher. But, well, there's two things here. The really serious thing here, really serious, is that the prosecutors had serious evidence, sordid allegations of sexual and physical abuse of young boys mm -hmm. by this terrible man who we know had set up schools and homes and was involved in a lot of youth work in Rochdale. They dropped it, which meant he could carry on uh, preying on young boys, uh, abusing young boys for years. That is scandalous. Mm -hmm. And that's what went on with Ted Heath, not with Ted Heath, with <gasps> forget, me. Freudian slip, with me. Jimmy Savile, mm. although it never got that far. Now, as for Mrs Thatcher, the recommendation was made by the Liberal leadership that Cyril Smith should get a knighthood. In 1988, nobody took allegations of paedophilia seriously. Mm. 
And she would have been told by her advisers, oh, Prime Minister, they say that all the time. Anyway, because uh, yeah. no, Thatcher no, had a very... Fat, Thatcher had a very Victorian attitude mm -hmm. about um, sexual She was also very conduct. close to uh, Savile. And you, you always say she only met him once at uh, a check -out. So That's not true. There was, a 90, there was a 2012 report which showed New Year's Eve parties, she lots of letters, lots Savile. of lunches. She hardly I'm, I'm afraid she, she had a blind spot. I can accept she that. She wouldn't have but if you're, Jimmy. But Jimmy if you're Savile carried on abusing you're, for years and years. If you're years. told somebody has paedophile suspicions, you should not be nodding through. He should not have night. got an eye I quite agree. Mm -hmm. He should not have got an eye